we're going to do today is we're going to take the valves out of a twin cam head. This one is a Lotus twin cam head. The valves are quite awkward to uh, get to be, and remove because they're at an angle of at an angle into the head and they don't go straight down. The tools we're going to need two six oh nine dual compression tool. I found that this is uh, a good one to use because of the depth of the throat. It's dual for the size of the springs that you've got in the vehicle. You need an extending tool with a magnet and a light on the end. long nose pliers and a screwdriver so I have stripped down the cylinder head previously but what you, what you see is the cam cover take the four screws four bolts off of that that lifts off put that to a nice convenient place out of the way you've then got the twin cams sitting in, normally they'd be all caps but I've taken it off to show you, you'd undo them in, in uh, equal amounts, take it off, you've got your bearings inside, they should be numbered which they are, put them away in a convenient place with the other stuff that you've taken off, then remove the cams Again, put them away with your other stuff that you've taken off in sequence. What this is now going to show is the buckets at the top of the valves and also underneath them we've got this configuration. which is the valve, the springs, the bucket and inside is a shim. There's a little shim. Don't lose them, you might need that later. But what holds the uh, valve in place are these two little collets. I believe the Americans call them retainers. And they sit Like so, but they sit in the recess. There it is, of that valve. Like so, and what we're trying to do is we we'll release this spring, pop them out, and then that will release that spring and then the valve can come out. So that's the setup. Put them out of the way. So as you can see I've taken all the other uh, valves out. It's just on the exhaust side number three. That's the one we're going to take out, and we're going to need a valve grinding tool, which has got the suction on the end, push that down, let it grab hold, and then out she comes. Inside there, as we spoke before, is a little shim, that gives the valve clearance is the right amount of valve clearance for the valve to open. Take that off, put that to one side. Inside that, 
we've got the top of the spring. Inside the spring are the collets with the valve. What we're going to do is compress that with the tool. Here's the tool. Wind her back. Line her up. Wind her up. Sometimes the collets get stuck in the valve. So what you might have to do is get a a hammer or a rubber mallet I should say which we have and just give her a little tap on there and that will just pop the collets from their seat so what we're doing is winding her up to release the little collets out of their seat. Right, what we're doing, we've got a close up now of the collets uh, around the valve and in the spring. This is the tool I was on about. On the end of that, there is a magnet. What we're gonna do is compress it even further. That will hopefully release the collets and then we can uh, release the valve. So I'm gonna wind it up a bit more. Give it a little whack with that uh, light just to see if it's there. She's gone now. There she goes. Right, did you? And you can see now it's collected one of them little collets or retainers. Let's go back in now, get the other one. Let's give it a wiggle. Did you hear that? And it uh, caught the other one. So that's those retainers or collets now out. Put them in a nice convenient place. Going to lose them. And then we're going to slowly release this. You can use this handle here, but uh, I prefer to release it slowly. And as you can see, She's now slowly coming out. There you go. Now, you can pull this handle. That will then take that out. And then if you can just... There's the spring that was talking about. Put that again to one side safely with the other stuff. And now, what we're going to do... Oh, let's move that out of the way. So we're just going to push the valve out. And there she is, she's out now. So that's that uh, valve taken out. Just follow the same procedure for the others. As I said, this is a good tool because it's got the wide angle throat to get round the castings of the uh, inlet manifold, which is this side. It needs to get over that. And it's a good idea, obviously, to wear any gloves and some form of eye protection just in case those little collets ping out. Just to go through again what we've done. Collets were in the recess of the valve. We've removed them. That in turn lets you take the spring off and the valve out. 
there's the bucket that was on the top with the uh, shims those shims are the correct size for each valve each shim is, can be different size so don't lose them that's it so good luck thank you very much and thanks for watching